Hi everyone, Max and here. Welcome to my latest EU4 Let's Play, playing as Trebizond. Now, Trebizond are a one province miner located on the Black Sea. They're basically a breakaway or uh, successor state to the Byzantine Empire. So they have uh, Orthodox religion, Eastern Tech group and have Greek culture. They actually got conquered around the same time as Constantinople did by the Ottomans. They're probably one of the most difficult nations to play as in EU4 since they start next to some very hostile, very powerful enemies. Uh, the Ottomans and Karakoyunlu, and even further afield the Timurids and the Russians. They're very hard to get good allies with uh, because of the distance modifier. So this game may actually take me a couple of attempts to do well at. Uh, so if that is the case, I may actually revert to a previous save game that I've already uh, done. Here's one in 1451, seven years into the game. Uh, so that I've got off to a good start here, got some good allies. And this is a bit later on, a different save game in 1468. So this is what I'm basically going to be trying to emulate uh, in this Let's Play. A good start like that. Right, we're going to be starting in 1444 of course though. Uh, the options are going to be using are a bit different to what I would normally play as. I'm not going to have AI bonuses on or hard difficulty. This is a suicidal start already with Trebus on, so I'm not going to be having those uh, on. I will be playing on Iron Man though. Right, so I think we're ready to get started. I've already got a save game that I'm going to overwrite, so let's uh, use that. Right. Okay, right. Some of you may be aware that not all diplomatic relations are fixed on every game start. And uh, that could have quite large implications for us if uh, certain nations are hostile towards us. So, ha. Huh, right, this is what I was hoping wouldn't happen. Georgia have rivaled us from the game start. Often they start as neutral, but uh, I haven't been lucky. What about Byzantium? Byzantium and neutral, which is what I was hoping for. Now, Karakoyunlu, this nation here, tend to declare war on you within the first couple of years. So it's pretty much imperative that you get enough alliances straight away. Uh, they're one of the strongest nations going, actually, in the start of the game. Uh, because they have so high force limit. And if they declare war on you, you don't stand a chance as Trebizond. You really don't. Uh, you can delay inevitable for quite a while, but unless someone like the Timurids or the Ottomans declares war on Karakunlu, you're dead. There's nothing you can really do about it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reload this uh, game using exactly the same options that I just picked. And uh, what I need to happen is for Circassia, Georgia and Byzantines to be neutral with me, and I need a level 1 statesman as well. We've actually got it here. Um, so I'm going to be trying to get allies as quickly as possible. Right, so I'll do that and I'll be back shortly. Okay, it took me a few reloads but I finally got the relations I wanted and also I have a level 1 statesman. Right, uh, let's get work on getting these alliances then. Right, first things first, I'm going to show off a new feature in the 1.8 or Art of War uh, expansion, I can't remember which. I'm going to sell some ships. I don't need a galley in these cogs, I'd much prefer the money. So I'm going to sell those to Genoa. And uh, with my other diplomat, I am going to ask Georgia for military access. I'm going to buy a couple of units in my capital, Trebizond. We only have a force them of four though. Uh, I have a merchant which I need to send, so I'm going to send that to uh, the Crimea Trade Note, that's where my capital is, that will give me an extra 10% income, I don't have any power anywhere else, so I might as well send it there. Uh, what else am I doing? Uh, rivals? It's not actually much point to me picking any of those rivals for uh, a reason you'll uh, come to understand shortly. Uh, well, I'll let it, you'll find out later. Uh, so, what next? Uh, national focus, I'm going to set this as a military focus. I recommend in the 1444 stat you pick this as your focus for pretty much everyone actually. 
getting up to uh, your military up to level 8 is pretty important because of all the military tactic bonuses. They really have a big effect. So uh, military is definitely the way to go in most, if not all, circumstances. Our monarchs aren't particularly good, or monarch. Uh, he's a 342, so he's slightly below the average of 9 points. And our ear is quite old actually, which isn't good, and he's also not that great either. He's a 601. So I'm going to make these uh, generals, at least one of them. So that's the ear. Not bad. I think I'll get the kin as well though. And he's rubbish. So, oh well. Didn't luck out there. They could have been worse though. Uh, right. What else have I got to do? Uh, I need to select which nations I want of special interest. I'm going to take Austria off. I don't really need to know about the Emperor yet. I'm going to select Theodoro, Crimea, Genoa, Circassia, Gesekamuk, and Shivan, and all the other ones that border us, we already have on. Right, so I think I am ready to get started. So, I suppose. Right, Theodoro has offered us an alliance. Now, Theodoro tend to get conquered by Crimea pretty quickly. I don't particularly want to dishonor that alliance, which I'd have to do, which would cost me 25 in prestige. So I'm going to decline that. What do we have here? I don't want any of those missions yet. Let's wait for the diplomat to come back. With this diplomat, I am going to get military access. So the objective now is to get these alliances as quickly as possible. That's why I need the relations like they are and that statesman. Uh, so relations here, I can send this on the 12th. Um, with this army as well, I'm going to move that up to Alania. Okay. Uh, Shaban. Uh, military alliance, not good, but that tends to happen a lot. Okay, so let's send this guy here. And I can send him on the 17th. France, allied Genoa, that's interesting, that doesn't happen a lot. But, uh, might stop me attacking them, or Crimea from attacking them. Ottoman sent a warning to Ramazan. Warnings is something I should mention. Uh, the Ottomans and Karakoyunlu tend to warn you pretty much every time uh, with the start against Trebizond. That has quite uh, implications on you. You can't then declare war on countries that neighbour either of the Ottomans or the Karakoyunlu without them joining in on the war on your uh, opponent's side, the party that you've declared war on. So say I want to declare war on these after I've been warned. Both of those two nations would declare war on me once they've warned me. And Kandar, I can't declare war on them without the Ottomans getting involved either, or Georgia. So that's why these rivals are pretty much useless, because I can't declare war on them. Uh, right, let's wait until... Oh, they're at war of England. Which Alania. Okay, starting a month, I am going to recall my diplomats here. Oops. Now I'm going to use a diplomacy trick which I picked up off another player. I'll call him Mr. Riku. Uh, so we can do that. We can resend this on the 13th. Uh, so send that here. So when you send a diplomat, you immediately get a diplo boost, and you also get the diplo boost on the start of a month. So by doing this, I can speed up my relations a lot quicker. And we really need to do this, otherwise... Well, I need to get these alliances as quickly as possible before the Karakalonu attack us. So you can see they're, they're aggressive already. They desire Trebzond. Likewise, the Ottomans are aggressive and want Trebzond as well. But the Ottomans have a lot of targets to go after, so it'll probably be a while before they decide to come after me. Um, let's wait until the start of the month which uh, you'll see that these go up. Okay, so let's recall these now. Right. And 
and I can do this again on the 18th. Right, populations there, and 19th. So we get immediate boost. Uh, right, let's wait until the start of the month and uh, recall both of these. Uh, I've got a guy there, send him up there. Now I'm going to hire this statesman. That will improve our diplomatic standings with uh, everyone. And should allow me to get these alliances much quicker than I otherwise would. And it's really important that I get these alliances quickly. Um, because if I don't, they will declare war. They might do anyway, frankly. Uh, so 19th. Right, Georgia saying yes. So what missions do I have? Form an alliance with Georgia. I'll take that. So I want to do these offer alliances on the same date. The reason is because they don't actually like each other. And if I ally with one before the other, then they will get a penalty for disliking or me being allied to a rival. So that's uh, what I tend to do. So I'm waiting to the 20th. Theodoro are offering us a marriage. I don't want that. And Karakunu have declared war. So I'm boned, basically. No allies. I'm dead. So I'm going to have to restart this again, I'm afraid. This is what I'm trying to avoid. Um, I think that's uh, a good example of what can happen. That's pretty unlucky, to be honest. We're less than a year into the game. Um, so, yeah, that really sucks. Right, so I'm going to try this again. Um, so what I'll do, I'll, um, I won't show you this part again. I'll just get up to March of 1445, and then hopefully they won't have declared war the next time round. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is a new game, attempt number two. I've played up until March. I've done exactly the same as I did uh, first time round. Uh, the other nations have... Uh, then slightly different things, of course. There's nothing you can... Well, it's different every time. Uh, Genoa allied with Lithuania instead of France, for example. Uh, who are... Right, Ottomans are still at war. Wow, they've got that already. That's not good. Uh, that's to take Constantinople. Uh, Karakunlu allied to them. I don't believe we've been warned yet. I don't think we were in the last one either, actually. Um, yeah. So, diplomatic situation is good. I can now buy a statesman. Last time they declared war on the 16th, and I was about to get my allies on the 20th, so that's pretty unlucky. Uh, so let's recruit the statesman. And uh, I'll show you the ledger as well. Yeah, it would have been impossible for me to win against that with 5,000 troops. I wouldn't have been able to get the allies. Even if I'd have got the alliances, I probably would have lost against Karakunlu. They really... They're really, really strong. Um, this, these alliances are to prevent them from declaring war rather than be strong enough to take them out. Um, so, right, uh, what date can I can I offer an alliance yet? No, uh, alliance of Georgia. Let's do that. Uh, so it's twentieth, maybe. Theodora offered that. Not interested. Let's come on, good. Oh, I can get these back, can I? Let's do that. Okay, so... 15th. This time round. Right, I've been warned by Karakoyunlu. Maybe I did get warned by them last time, I can't remember. Um, so... What date do I want to do it on? I'll have to do it on... 15th... And 21st. Right, I have to wait until 21st. I want to do it at the same time. I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but uh, if I ally to one before the other, then if, because they're rivaled, uh, they will be annoyed with me for allying with their rivals. So that's why I have to ally them both at the same time. Okay. Brilliant. Right, so we've got the alliances this time around. Right, diplomats are back shortly. I'm going to take royal marriage. There. Diplomat's back. I can bring him up there. So how good are my generals this time and my ear and kin? 
probably not as good as last time, I think. So Jonas, he can go and charge. Let's get that diplomat back. Let's improve relations with Byzantium. And let's make a claim against Circassia. Now, I'm not going to be using this for a while. But uh, I do intend to declare war on them eventually. Vassal them up. They're not going to be my first target. Georgia was protecting us, but they've revoked that now. They tend to do that once you're allied. Or always do that when you're allied. Uh, Karakayunlu declared war at Kayunlu. Brilliant. Right, this is going really well now, this time round. So that means they're going to be busy for quite a while. So I don't have to worry about them. So that frees me up to... Uh, do other things like declare war on people. Now, they, they, I, I like to shield Van, so that was a potential option for me. What I could do before I declare war is get this alliance, so I think I should do that actually. So, I'll think about war in a minute. Um, so, yeah, we're making a claim against Circassia though, aren't we? Well, actually, I haven't got this marriage yet either. So, Karaman, Ramazan got involved in that. Uh, Royal Marriage. I don't want one with Circassia since I want to declare war on them eventually. So who are they at war with? Might be a pretty good opportunity to actually declare war on them. Potentially. If they're involved in a ton of wars. Um, hmm. I'll have to have a think about that. I haven't seen this happen before where they've declared war on them this early. They usually declare war on Tabaristan if it's not yourself, uh, Trabzond. So, well, marriage. Uh, what date was it? 20 odds? Domestic. Yeah, 22nd. Okay, Ottomans have warned us. No surprises there. Let's do a royal marriage with Georgia. My rivals should be the same. I was just at Kayunlu now. Okay, next. Right, that's no good. I'm going to uh, fabricate a claim then in a few days on Circassia. That province there. It's in the same sea zone, that province is. So, wait until the start of the month. And get back. We can actually do a royal marriage there. Stop that relations. So I can send that shortly. Let's get royal marriage. Crimea. May not be such a good idea actually to royal marriage Byzantium if uh, the Ottomans are going to go after them pretty soon. But I guess I will. Okay, so Alliance, I can offer that on the 11th now, and then I'm going to be declaring war on someone, and I have a target in mind. Okay, I've left my maintenance on all the way through as well, so I'm prepared for war. Right, so, offer Alliance, send. And they've accepted. Right, so we've got a triple alliance. They're at war, so we're pretty much safe for them for the time being. I don't really need the statesman anymore. And I kind of need the money. So, definitely need the money. Right, so in nine days' time, I get my diplomat back. Right, so who should I declare war against? Now, I don't actually have a claim against these guys. And none of this lot were joining on the war, so that's not a good option. Crimea? Uh, Georgia would join in, but that's it. And the Allies are Nogai. In certain circumstances, to claim war on Crimea might be a pretty good option, actually. You can uh, potentially vassal them up. This is a great new feature in 1.81 or um, Art of War. Uh, have I mentioned this is I'm using 1.81? Well, I mention it now. I'm using 1.81. Uh, so yeah, you can see that there at the bottom, 
You can tell how much each province costs in terms of war score, and the bottom amount is how much you need to vassal them up. Now, the Ottomans have a tendency to ally to Crimea, so to clear war on them early on probably isn't a great idea, uh, because Ottomans will ally them and then will join in on the war. The Ottomans tend to start allying people after they've conquered Albania, and before they start going after other conquests. Um, so that it doesn't usually take them long to conquer Albania, frankly. So Crimea, I'm ruling out. Genoa, if I was to declare war on them now, uh, everyone would join in. But the problem is, I've been warned by the Ottomans, so they will join in. They're allied to, the Ilf -Lif to Lithuania, and because they're part of the HRE, Austria will join in. So that's not really an option. Genoa now has a province there, so that's how the Ottomans have borders with them. Um, so, last option, and the option I'm going to be going for, is to claim war on Kazamuk. I don't have a claim on them, so that's not going to help me much. Why won't Georgia join in? Defensive attitude. Okay. Uh, that's not good, but I don't think it matters. Uh, Byzantium won't declare war because of a distant war. Now, this is going to cause a ton of aggressive expansion. To be honest, it's not too bad. Uh, Ottomans, minus 11, that's pretty bad. Pissing off Karakunal is really bad. Shivan, I don't really care about. Gazamuk, I don't care about. Golden Horde, I kind of care about. It'll cause me war exhaustion and I'd lose stability. But, yeah, I'm definitely going to be going for this because I need to expand. Since I'm a one province minor. So, let's declare a war. Okay. Now, stability is incredibly important these days with the way the revolt system works, which I'll be talking about a bit later on or in a future video. So I'm going to increase it while it's cheap. Don't have many admin points. Um, so, no missions. Right. Uh, these guys, they have 3,000 troops. They shouldn't prove too much of a problem. They start in mountains, though, in that province. I love this new uh, shortcut terrain feature as well. I've actually added it onto the... Locked it onto here instead of the old terrain option. So you can basically see by color coding what's mountainous, what's hilly, what's desert by the colors. Um, they've changed how... Well, there's only one terrain in each province now. So this is a great new feature. Uh, Maneuvers changed a bit as well. Uh, no longer does it determine what terrain you get. It uh, gets rid of river negatives if you have more maneuver bonus when you're attacking an enemy. Uh, so that could be definitely useful. That guy has... Well, there's no leader there whatsoever and this guy has a maneuver bonus. So if I attack into that province I won't get the river crossing penalty. I don't particularly want to attack into a mountainous province though. I might wait until these c guys come out and help me. Um, right, so Kasia joins. Great. Can I ask these to join? No. I might improve relations. Right, they're making troops. I think I'm going to have to attack now. So Kasia will come and help me in a second. Um... I'm actually going to split these guys up a tiny bit. I have to be careful here that uh, I'm in control of the siege. Usually they give you a province once they've sieged it, but not always. So you have to be a bit careful with it. And I definitely want to be in control of both of those sieges. I have a diplomat back, so what am I going to use him for? I could improve relations with Georgia. Might be able to get them in on the war then. I kind of need to improve relations with Karakoyunlu. Um But they're busy for the time being. Yeah, let's I'll improve relations with Georgia for a tiny bit. Right. I'm not gonna use that diplomacy trick all the time though, because it takes too much micromanaging. Right, they moved off, good. Okay. Are they coming down? Yes, they are. 
Right, I'll wait until they get towards here, and then I'll send the, uh, my army. I'm going to keep one guy on there to retain the siege. Uh, no mission still. So when do they get their 10th? So wait until the 9th. Do they have a maneuver bonus? No. Right, let's send my army in. Let's put the timer up. Okay, so they're coming in to help now. They're going to be arriving pretty shortly. Okay, and that's job done. So, we're in charge of the siege there, and they're going to help out on over there. I think I'll take a unit out here and move it there. And it's just a case now of sieging these provinces up, I think. So, I'm going to keep my maintenance. No, I'm not going to raise war tax. I think I will take my maintenance off, actually. Because I don't believe Kara Koyun is going to attack. It's possible that having maintenance on full might make an enemy less likely to attack you. Though I'm not sure, not by any means. Um, it does seem to be that way sometimes. Though. Okay, so if we couldn't see her. We're in charge of that one and we're in charge of that one. Great. Okay, so everything's going really well, frankly. Uh, we're making a claim against them. Is there any other claims I want to make? How are these guys doing? We're actually winning that war. Let's check the force limit. Because I could potentially want to go for them. Yeah, they're really strong. Massive manpower, massive amount of troops. I'm not in a position to take them on yet, actually. So let's forget about making a claim there. Okay. In fact, they're busy and losing their manpower is great for me though. I'm actually going to get the Georgian one back, I think. I don't need, need it there so much. Could I ask them into the war? No. Right, I'm going to improve relations here then. Try and prevent them from going after me a bit later on. It's a long shot, but you never know. Okay, we've taken Taki. Let's move down there. Chikunzia. Uh Albania was annexed, so the Ottomans are going to start to ally people and uh, go after someone else. I'm hoping they don't... Right, they've allied Chromia straight away, as they usually do. I'm hoping they don't go for Byzantium next, but they might. That'll be really... That's, they don't usually get it that early. That's really bad for me, actually. Um, so that claim was done. Good. So I wouldn't be surprised if we go after Circassia next. Um, so what am I wait? What am I doing now? I've got a diplomat spear. I'm going to send that to. I should probably send it to Golden Horde just in case. I don't want them potentially joining in a coalition. Ottomans and Mamluks are rivals. They've sent a warning to Guza. Lithuania is still independent. And Kunzia is done. Let's get that guy back. Right, so diplomats back. I'll group my troops up. And uh, let's make peace with Gazikamuk. So I'm going to take Taki. And I'm going to vassal him up. I'm going to take your money. And I can't take war reparations because I'm making them a vassal, I believe. So the reason I'm taking Taki is so I'm able to make claims. And I'm actually going to sell that back to the vassal then after that. Um, I want to make some claims. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who I'm going to do the claims on in the next video. So probably around half an hour-ish now. So let's send demand. And we've taken that. Okay, so that's it for the first video. Thank you for watching. Uh, we've got off to a decent start, although it took me a couple of attempts. 
Uh, in the next video, I hope to expand a bit more, or it could all come crashing down if Kara Kurnlu decide to go after me. I guess we'll find out. Um, right, so if you enjoyed this video and you fancy helping me out, please give this video a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you may want to subscribe. Uh, there are plenty of other Let's Plays on the channel. Uh, please check out the homepage. Uh, if you want to leave a comment or a question, please do, and I'll respond to pretty much uh, every question that's asked. And apart from that, I'd just like to thank you for watching again, and I'll see you next time.